Sharky Gamer here. So today we're taking a look at the Fanatec Game Board Controller for the PlayStation 2. Basically what this is, it's a mouse, keyboard and joystick controller all combined into one unit. So this is the front of the box. Up the top you can see the Fanatec logo and it says Game Board Controller. And of course it's got a picture of the actual Game Board here. In the corner here it does show a list of supported games. It's got some shooters and stuff there and some strategy games and of course it has here for some network configuration and cheats and cheat codes and applications down here so it's got three different categories there and this is just um, a range of games there is a lot more games that it supports but it gives you a sort of idea down here it says for use with the PlayStation 2 games console moving over it says controller Analog joystick with six action buttons, ergonomic design controller, steers vehicles and moves characters in play. Keyboard, high quality compact keyboard provides direct access for up to 93 functions. Enables communicating during online gaming. 4 meter cable supplied. Mouse, superior precision and speed when aiming, five function keys for functions such as shoot or change weapon. At the top it gives you a bit of an image of the controller. And it says, ideal for first and third person shoot 'em ups compatible with all PlayStation 2 games that support a keyboard and mouse. On the sides, they are pretty much the same. They just give you some close-up views of the controller. Same with the other side. On the back of the box, it goes into a bit more detail. And it shows you some more images and gives you some more information, which I'll just read out. The Game Board controller combines the simplicity of PlayStation control with the precision and variety of PC in-game control. It brings the gamer ultimate control in 3D action, adventure games, strategy games, role-playing games, sniper shooter, building simulators and online games, giving an unbeatable advantage in multiplayer games. Controller The ergonomic design of the Game Board controller allows the left hand to comfortably control the analog joystick and six function keys. The analog joystick steers a vehicle or moves the character in play. Whilst the six function keys can be mapped with functions such as jump or crouch, the Game Boy controller may be set up to allow the keyboard only to be used in gameplay. Mouse gives you superior aiming and speed when compared to the conventional analog controller. This is an unbeatable advantage in multiplayer games in addition to the two directional accesses. The mouse five function keys, two mouse buttons plus mouse wheel up down. The mouse wheel key can be programmed with functions such as shoot or change weapon. Keyboard, high quality compact keyboard with access for up to 93 functions within a game, software dependent, is ideal for writing messages during online gaming and the special function keys allow the keyboard to be remapped with use with different languages. No table necessary. The game board controller can be comfortably used on a lap so there's no need to use a table during gameplay. The game board controller is suitable for use in any room of the house and Stylish Divine complements the PlayStation 2 console. Connections. The Game Board controller is an extra long 4 meter USB lead for maximum convenience. Standard PC keyboard leads are approximately 1.5 meters. The Game Board's electronic connections are housed in a removable module which can be replaced by a wireless module, thus enabling the Game Board to function as a wireless controller. Optimized storage. To store the Game Board controller after use, the mouse can be parked in the mouse garage. The special design means the controller can be leaned vertically against a wall, saving space. And down here it says compatibility PlayStation 2. The Game Board controller is compatible with all games which support a standard USB keyboard. The mouse itself is compatible with all games which support a USB 3 button mouse wheel. A complete list of compatible games can be found at that website. Compatibility. It says here it works with PC Windows. And it says Windows 98 SE, ME or XP. And that is the back of the box. So now let's take a look at this controller. Okay, so first off, 
you can see it's got a very long cable this is a, a four meter cable so it should be more than enough length to reach from any kind of setup you've got to your PS2 that's the USB connection there alright so this is the game board controller so you can see you've got a joystick, you've got a keyboard and then you've got a mouse on a mouse pad on the other side that's the top of it that's the underside of it okay so let's start with the keyboard right in the center of this thing so the keyboard is basically just a standard keyboard the keys themselves are kind of a soft touch key um, they don't feel like your traditional PC keyboards at all. They feel more like um, um, buttons, basically. Um, but they are like a soft touch. They type alright. You can type quite easily on it. Works alright. The only thing really different about this keyboard, down here, you got some extra buttons. you got a program button. you got an analog button. And moving along this side, you have a start and select button just there. Is there start and select and of course at the top here you have these other settings here which allows you to switch the region for the keyboard so you've got probably the international one um, UK DE FR RT and ES so this is allows you to switch the regional settings for the keyboard but other than that the keyboard is pretty standard um, nothing really special about it at the top there you got the Fanatec logo and of course down the bottom there you got the game board logo moving on to the side where the mouse is first off this is a mouse mount surface here I don't know if you can see that but it's actually got a textured surface it's actually a very kind of textured surface there so it's not smooth it's got a bit of texture to it so this is basically your mouse pad Underneath this thing right here, you've got this little area here, and this is your mouse storage area where you can store your mouse when you're not in use. So you basically undo that and you put the mouse in there and then you strap it in. And what that allows you to do is to actually lean this against a wall or store it somewhere and the mouse won't just fall out or flop all over the place. So it's just a, they call it the mouse garage. And another thing you'll notice is that this mouse is plugged into this module um, via the standard um, PC, very well-known PC connection, the PS2 mouse connection. So that's how it plugs into this unit. Going into the mouse itself, the mouse looks like a pretty standard mouse. Blue and black, it's got the Fanatec logo down the bottom there. It's of course got your left and right click. Uh, which will translate to your R1 and R2 buttons on your controller. You've got a mouse wheel which goes mouse down, mouse up, and also mouse click. So it's a pretty standard little mouse. On the bottom you can straight away see that it's actually a ball mouse, so it's one of the older ball mouses, which means that you would have to keep this clean um, if you don't want it to interfere with your tracking. Um, but of course it's easy, you just pop this out pop that out and you can easily clean that and get rid of the dust on the rollers in there so the mouse works quite well on the surface because it's a bit rougher it does track very well it's very um, sensitive to your movements and everything so aiming is not a problem it's a pretty accurate pretty accurate mouse it works well, does the job. The only problem I have because of the textured surface um, is it makes a lot of noise. And you can hear that noise, it's um, very much plastic against plastic. But having said that, it is noisy, but it does allow it to track more efficiently because the surface gives the mouse something nice and smooth that it can work on. 
um, and see quite well. So that's why that the ball runs nicely on it, but it does make a lot of noise, which is a downside. But it does aim well and it does the job, so that's the good part of it. Okay, so moving on to the joystick, which is on the other side of this game board. So here is the joystick. Now the first thing you'll notice about it is around the joystick it's got these little arrows. There's one there, one there. And basically what it means, instead of the joystick moving um, straight forward like the keyboard, like going like this, instead of doing that for your directions, it moves at an angle the same the way you're holding your hand and holding the keyboard. So forward is this way, backwards is this way, right and left. So you're moving it in the angle of the keyboard and how your thumb is coming off that grip. Now the stick itself is covered in a rubber kind of surface. Um, it does the job, it doesn't, your, your fingers don't slip off too easily, but it could have been a bit improved. Like this rubber grip could have been a, a lot better. Um, they could have made it a bit concave or something like that, just to have something you can have your finger in. And it, it, so it doesn't slip off, because this could be very easy to slip off of it during play. So, not the best, and it's very flat. I don't know if you can see how flat that is. Very flat. And of course it does not click down, because there's no click down on this thing. It just moves in the directional. And of course it does this, um, the reason there's an analog button here. Um, the analog button is for actually more game compatibility. If this joystick's analog, it functions just like your normal joystick. But if you turn off analog, it tries to go back to sort of pretending to be a D-pad. So it just imitates a D-pad. And I think that's why they didn't include the click down or anything like that. Because they wanted to use like a binary type joystick. So that's why I can have that swap. Of course, right next to it, you've got two buttons. And uh, these buttons act as your function buttons. I think, if my memory serves me right, it was um, triangle and uh, circle. I think it was triangle and circle, those buttons. And on the back here, you've got two shoulder buttons, which um, replicate um, your L1 and L2 on your gamepad. And then right next to them, you've got two other function buttons, which I believe were X and square. And how you hold this is there's a little bit of a, a groove here which allows you to actually grip it. Something like that. So you actually have a bit of grip on the unit so it's not easy to fall out of your hands. So you can hold it, get those buttons, move the joystick. And of course when you're playing with a shooter or something, use the mouse on this side. So you got your hand over here. You're aiming you're moving and you're using all the buttons. And of course if you're online then you can sit and type as well. Now because this is actually built on a really solid kind of base you can actually put these on your legs, your on your lap so you don't actually have to have a table. Uh, you can use a table if you want to but you don't have to. The option is there just to use this and have it on your lap. And it's pretty comfortable to do so, really easy to hold, and because it's a solid surface, it won't fall off easily, and it allows you to move the mouse and use the joystick as well. So working with it with games, um, it works quite well with games that it supports. Now remember on the box it did say it only supports PlayStation Q games that work with a USB keyboard and mouse. What this means is that support comes right down to the game. If the game supports a USB keyboard and mouse, it will support this controller. If however it does not support a USB keyboard and mouse, then you're out of luck, it will not use this controller. So it right comes down to game support, and not all games on the PS2 will support a USB mouse and keyboard, so it dwindles the numbers right down. Now of course the games that do work, there are some shooters and stuff like that, uh, there are some uh, strategy games as well that will allow you to use the mouse, so strategy makes it a lot easier to use the mouse than a joystick, 
and there are some other games. The mouse works alright in these games, but like I said, compatibility can be kind of low on the scale, and sometimes the games that are compatible are the games you don't necessarily want to play. So, yeah, compatibility games is a bit lack, and it, it, there should be a bit more. But again, it's, it comes down to the PlayStation 2's game compatibility with USB mice and keyboards, which unfortunately is on the low side. But the keyboard, will, the keyboard in the center here will work with most online games that need like a chat function, and you can use this to chat online, so that'll work with most of them. While the mouse and joystick, that just depends on the game again. Now this will also work on PC as well. I've tried it on a Windows XP computer, it installed the file on the XP computer, um, it picked up the mouse as a mouse, picked up the keyboard as a keyboard, and it picked up this uh, joystick as a game controller, and the whole thing, it also picked up a fourth device, which was a USB hub, which seems to pick up every single individual, like it's all plugged into a USB hub. So Windows XP, it picked it up fine. I tried it on my Windows 7 computer as well. It had problems. It picked up the hub, but it didn't pick up anything else. So I don't think this will work on modern computers. It'll work on Windows XP fine, um, but newer computers, it probably won't. Um, maybe you can play with drivers and that, maybe you could get it working, I don't know. I didn't try that hard, because um, it pretty much only detected the USB hub and it failed detecting anything else. Now on the bottom here, we briefly um, saw that module. I just want to cover this again. Um, there's actually a little module area here, and this area actually unplugs. And comes out and you can see there's a little card there and a slot down there that actually plugs back into and the reason why they did this is because apparently there was a wireless module available um, so you can actually turn this into a wireless controller I've actually never seen the wireless module so I'm not sure if they actually released it or not um, but if they did release it it probably is pretty rare because um, I've never seen one um, but it basically turns it um, to a wireless controller now the downside I can say about having a module like this as you can see it connects both that mouse as well as the actual cable that connects the USB cable into this device is this connection I mean if this connection were to be damaged or if it got dust in it or something like that it can affect your playability of this controller it'll affect how this controller works and um, these aren't the, these controllers aren't the most reliable so in general these controllers don't seem to be that reliable I've had my own issues with this controller, sometimes not working or not detecting. So it's not the most reliable and it does feel really plasticky. Um, it really feels plasticky. Uh, it's not a very high quality. I mean, I guess for what it is, um, it looks pretty good, it does the job. But in general, it doesn't feel the most highest quality they could make it. It actually, it kind of feels kind of plasticky. Um, but it does do the job if you can find a game that will support it. Um, the mouse works alright with aiming, keyboard works alright with online chat, and of course the joystick works alright with um, moving around and everything like that. Um, so it's a good idea, not the best build quality like I mentioned, but it does work with a game if you can find the games that support a USB keyboard and mouse. And these are getting pretty rare now, um, it's kind of getting harder to find, especially one in the box, so I guess it's, uh, it is getting to be a rarer controller now. And I'm not sure if that's because um, there's just few of them out of there, or if a lot of them broke or were damaged, um, which wouldn't surprise me. Like I say, the build quality isn't the best, which is a bit surprising considering it's a Fanatec controller. Usually Fanatec does do a bit higher build quality to the controllers, but this one just doesn't match some of the other Fanatec products that they released. So if you're looking for a first-person shooter solution, on the PS2, this might be what you're looking for because it does work with first person shooter and strategy and all that type of games. But of course, you need to check the game to see if the game has USB keyboard and mouse support because if it doesn't, it will not work. But overall, this is not the, probably the best FPS controller or third person shooter controller on the PlayStation 2. I would say one of the better ones to go for would be the Splitfish Edge FX, which I've got a review on my channel if you want to check that one out. That one works with pretty much any game, um, most games I would say, and it has a lot more compatibility than this thing. But yeah guys, that's about all I can say about it. This was the Fanatec Game Board Controller for the PlayStation 2. 
Take another look at it. So it looks pretty cool. But like I say, it's not the best FPS controller is available for PlayStation 2. There are a lot of better ones available. But thanks for watching, guys. I am Sharky Gamer. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have heaps more controller and accessories up very shortly. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you'd like to. And if you like this video, then hit that like button. It really helps out a lot, guys. Thanks for watching.